Rolex, 15 things you might not know. Known as the most recognizable watch brands in the world, Rolex watches have had a long and storied history that dates back over 100 years. But did you know where the name Rolex came from and where it originated? Rolex was established in 1905 by a German and a Brit. Hans Wilsdorf and Alfred Davis. If you are interested in learning more about stories behind some of these details and facts, keep reading for 15 things you might not know about Rolex. To begin with, the Rolex name doesn't mean anything. Hans Wilsdorf, one of the founders of Rolex, wanted a name that would resonate and be easy to pronounce in all languages. He knew the target length of five letters, so he created combinations of every length to see which one is the best. Out of all letters in the alphabet, the man selected 100, but none of them made much of an impression. However, one morning as he was riding in an upper compartment of a horse-drawn omnibus on Sheepside in the city of London, a genie whispered Rolex in his ear. That's all to say, you've now been able to understand the origin of the name. However, it originally meant nothing, and it was simply selected for its simplicity. Secondly, they did not move to Geneva because it is where the best watches in the world are made, but rather, they were trying to escape taxes. The company was founded in 1905 by a 24-year-old with his brother-in-law, who at that time were importing the individual pieces and assembling them themselves. Three years later, they manufactured their own pieces, at which point Rolex abandoned London. To sum up, the rise in import taxes spurred a response to Switzerland for its locations, neutrality, and skilled workforce. More to the point, Switzerland is also a tax haven, which made it the obvious choice to make the move. Number 3. Rolex is a charity To be clear, we want to emphasize that we aren't against charities. But when we requested Rolex financial records, we found something suspicious. Amazingly, Rolex is actually registered under a charity in Switzerland. Huh? So here's what's going on. Rolex is owned by Hans Wilsdorf Foundation. The Hans Wilsdorf Foundation was founded in 1994 following the death of William's wife. Rolex shares were transferred to the foundation, as well as clear and strict instructions on how to handle the company's finances. According to Swiss law, private charities do not need to publicly disclose their respective charitable activities. And according to the company, the donations are private. As of now, no one has been able to confirm that any charities have ever received donations from this foundation. The Rolex company even benefits from its status as a charity, saving tons of money on taxes. Number 4. It takes Rolex almost a year to manufacture just one watch. This is why Rolex watches are so expensive. Contrary to the popular belief, these watches are handmade. Although hundreds of thousands are still manufactured annually, every Rolex watch is individually crafted. It has the same care for quality that people have come to expect. Rolex rigorous testing standards ensure that each individual watch is held to the highest level of quality control. Any part that would otherwise be manufactured by humans is manufactured by a robot to ensure perfection. This dedication to excellence continues today. Probably because of this, Rolex remains an iconic and coveted brand to watch aficionados all over the world. Number 5. The most expensive Rolex watch in the world is the 1958 Rolex GMT Master, which is sold for $3.5 million at Philips Auction House in Geneva. This 18-carat gold watch is known for its distinctive features. It is quite rare because most Rolex GMT watches were made in stainless steel rather than gold for 58 years. Even though this Rolex GMT Master is unrestored and preserved in its original condition, what makes it worth $3.5 million? There's a little-known fact about Rolex. They have their own private gold foundry. Yes, that's right. Rolex has its own metal formulas and patented three gold blends, specifically special steel called 904i. Rolex makes a great of many of their own parts and creating their own type of gold is truly a novel accomplishment. Apparently, this particular watch has a rare blend of gold, making it high desirable to Rolex collectors. Sixth, the Air King Rolex is the cheapest one and it costs $2,200. Yes, you can buy a brand new original Rolex for only $2,200. Rolex is treated similarly but not nearly as complex. The thing is, Rolex watches weren't as expensive as they first came out. As an example, in 1981, a Rolex watch would cost $900. 
10 years later, the same model would cost $2,350 for very few alterations. Their efforts proved successful in two areas, attracting attention to detail for increased sales and emphasizing the value of the Rolex. At number 7, the first ever waterproof wristwatch was made by Rolex in 1926. The Rolex Oyster, which is made in 1926, is the first ever waterproof and also dustproof wristwatch. A mirror descendant of this particular watch, the term Oyster has been used for waterproof Rolex since the day Mercedes Hamilton was preparing for his second attempt to swim across the English Channel. Rolex founder Hans Wilsdorf gifted her with a Rolex Oyster from his own collection, so she could have it for the swim. Surprisingly, after a grueling 10 hours, the watch insides were dry as if it were in an ice bucket. There was surely no doubt a clever publicity move on Hans Wilsdorf's part. Number 8, Rolex was the first wristwatch to ever receive a Class A chronometer certificate. For those of you who don't know what it is, it's a certification for accuracy and precision when testing wristwatches. On July 15, 1914, a tiny Rolex wristwatch labeled as a keyless crystal two-line bracelet watch was the first wristwatch to ever receive a Class A chronometer certificate from the Q Observatory of Great Britain, which was a hallmark of excellence. No other wristwatch has ever received this, and only expensive, complicated, Swiss-made watches can do it. Rolex tests its watches rigorously for 15 days, checking for problems before shipping them. That's their habit every time. That's why it takes so long to come out with a new watch. Number 9, the Swiss watch company Rolex proved their watches could withstand every circumstance. Following the Second World War, their reputation spread after Sir Edmund Hillary led a British Himalayan expedition to the top of Mount Everest. Despite all the adverse conditions they endured and the high altitude, the Rolex watches worn by all the team members never lost a second. Number 10, you should be aware that there are fake Rolexes out there. If you can't afford it, don't bother with buying a fake one. You can buy a cheaper original watch brand instead of a replica, as nobody would thank you for that. Some 15 to 30 percent of people searching for watches on Google want to buy replicas. The guideline here is that good quality can stand the test of time. You'll never find a Rolex for under $1,000. As number 11, Rolex got almost 1 billion taken from them by Bernie Madoff. 2008 was the year when Hans Wilsdorf Store Foundation CEO Patrick Heininger stepped down due to personal reasons. He and his father Andre had run the organization since 1960, and no signs that their reign was coming to an end were noticed. Looks like the Rolex invested heavily in Bernie Madoff's $65 billion Ponzi scheme, with unfortunate consequences. If you're unfamiliar with the story, just know that everything turned okay by 2009. The guy seemed to have set up what could have been the biggest scam in the world. He got caught and sentenced to 150 years in jail. That guy may have been given Rolex who was supposedly investing in his company. So much money in exchange for one of their Rolex watches. Rolex was reported to have said that they were investing in his company, but they now deny doing this. Rolex was one of Bernie Madoff's favorite brand of watches, and they auctioned off his collection after he went to prison. At number 12, a Rolex watch played a key role in a murder committed by Canada's most wanted criminal in 1996. The crime took place in London and the suspect was Albert Walker Johnson, a high school dropout and scam artist from Paris, Canada, who defrauded 70 clients out of $3.2 million through a mortgage and investment scam. Wanted by Canadian police, he escaped to England with one of his three daughters. Ronald Joseph Platt established a new investment business. After Platt moved to Canada, Johnson took over his identity, posing as Platt's wife with his 15-year-old daughter. But when Platt returned to England in 1996, Johnson decided to kill him. We'll never know how things would have turned out if he would have taken off James Platt's Rolex before dumping him in the English Channel. After two weeks of water emission, the only piece of evidence that has identified the corpse was a waterproof Rolex, which had a consistent history through service records. As the police looked through records, they eventually tracked the killer and identified the dead body as Platt. He is now in prison, serving a life sentence. Number 13, Rolex is the official timekeeper of Wimbledon Tournament. In 1978, Rolex became the official timekeeper of the Wimbledon Championships. This date commemorates the start of a successful business partnership. 
even though they have several ambassadors, one of their most famous players happens to be one of the best tennis players of all time, Roger Federer, who they happily pay $15 million for every year for his endorsement. Number 14, Rolex makes around 60% of the cost of each watch. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. As raw materials, a Rolex watch costs significantly less than what you're paying for it. But that doesn't mean the price isn't worth it. Because in the end, you're not buying the materials. You're paying for a lot of intangibles. The fees you're paying provide innovation and tradition, something that took years to perfect. The fees you're paying offer expertise from the finest watchmakers in the world and their time. Number 15, the most expensive Rolex watch is the Rolex GMT Master Version 2 Men's Diamond Ice Watch, which is priced a little over half a million dollars. It basically took an already expensive Rolex watch and covered it with as many diamonds as it could. We would like to know, what is your favorite Rolex watch? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment.